actually trying to put together a quick little gift basket for Father's Day. We did that ASAP. That didn't take too much time. Ah! It looks so nice. Hey reviewers, it's your girl Reviews with E and I'm back with another video. So as you know, Father's Day is like literally tomorrow. So <laughs> being the last minute queen that I am, I'm literally trying to put together a quick little gift basket for Father's Day. Now my father is very, very far away from me. So I actually will be making this gift basket for, you know, this guy <laughs> who I call daddy. And I was like, <laughs> cut, cut. <laughs> this gift basket for my boyfriend so yeah this is gonna be fun um now he's very simple um and I kind of like was debating on what to put in the basket um but you know I think I pretty much got it together now you can kind of customize what you want to put in your basket for your dad or your boyfriend or your baby daddy or your baby father <laughs> But yeah, I mean, basically, you know, you can just kind of choose what you want to put in the basket based off of like what he likes. Um, most guys are pretty simple. And I know like us ladies, we have a hard time trying to figure out like what do men actually like? Um, because most men are pretty simple. So yeah, I just kind of pretty much picked out items that I felt like he could use for sure. And you know, might appreciate so i'm not gonna talk you to death let's go ahead and get into it so as you know i had to get the gift basket wrap so this is going to be the final um piece to our basket to wrap it all up i got this from walmart um i got this basket from hobby lobby and i believe this was like um 13.95 let me double check no, this was $17. So this basket was $17, um, which was not bad. I could not find a basket at Walmart. So if you're looking for gift baskets, you can go to Hobby Lobby. Um, another item that I got was um, some socks. I feel like all guys pretty much like socks, even you know if you're making this for your dad. I know most fathers always appreciate socks. Um, and you know, I always tell you guys, just because you're on a budget, does not equivalent to being cheap. Like all of these items, I think altogether probably costed me about 100 to 150. So just because you're making a DIY basket does not mean that it's cheap. It just means that you wanna customize what you wanna put in it for that person you're making it for. So another thing that I thought was a great idea to put in my basket that I'm going that I'm going to be gifting was a planner. I know that my boyfriend, he definitely um, is very business oriented and he likes to stay organized. So I pretty much figured, you know, hey, he can always, you know, use a planner. Planners are always um, helpful for anybody, guys or girls. You know, I always preach about planners and staying organized. So, you know, your girl definitely had to get him an organizer. And I like this one too, because like, I think it had like a little pocket in the back. Oh wait, is it this one? No, okay, I think that was a different one that I saw. But yeah, this is pretty much like, you know, a basic um, planner. Um, so yeah. Next item, oh, by the way, I got that from uh, Walmart also. So these items, um, well, I got this from Whole Foods because you know, um, when I buy like bathing or body care products, I like to go to either Sprouts or Whole Foods. So I definitely got him this Jason Aloe Vera body wash um, and it seems to be very, very uh, healthy and vegan. Um, I also got him some Beats headphones. Can't go wrong with Beats headphones. I think all men will appreciate a good pair of headphones either to work out or like a Bluetooth type of earpiece. I feel like most guys will appreciate that, but I went ahead and got him um, more of a workout type of headset type of thing. It's wireless. And I know like me personally, I don't like the ones that um, don't have the wires, so I made sure to get him the one 
that has the wire it connects from ear to ear under but you don't have to plug it into your phone so it is still bluetooth oh by the way this was 50 dollars, which was not bad and it's a beats by dre yeah okay so i also got him some deodorant again this is um super super um healthy i believe they made this out of paper um and and it's aluminum free so you know the thought that counts um also i went ahead and got him some lotion again very very healthy ingredients it's unscented and um i believe this was made with aloe vera as, uh, <laughs> aloe vera as well as some other great ingredients um i got him some um mineral dead sea salt mineral uh soap <laughs> as you know uh when you're bathing you want to you know use soaps that are very um more on the natural side you know as far as the ingredients go i keep hearing a lot of great stuff about this soap i got me one so i was like you know what i gotta get him one too and i got him a candle now most people think that men don't like candles i disagree um i believe i got him a candle before and it was like um, more of a like stress reliever type of candle and he actually used it so I'm like you know what I'm gonna get him another candle and this one is actually um, like a backyard bonfire type of scent so I thought you know hey why not get him you know a candle um, and I think this would be really great especially when he's working he can just light it up it has that you know woody smell you know men they like the outdoor type of thing so I was like you know I think he'll appreciate this candle also I had to get him some wine. I got this from Whole Foods. Um, we love to drink wine. I haven't tried this one before, but it did seem to be like a red wine. And I believe it originated from France. Yep, from France. And it was quite on the expensive side. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and treat him to a nice bottle of wine. I went ahead and got him some healthy snacks. Again, I got this from Whole Foods. I got him some nuts. And I got him a water bottle. You know, the weather is getting hot. And um, one thing I like about this brand, this is a Tumblr, no, Ozark Trail. This was like the only brand in Walmart as far as water bottles that did not have BPA in them. So this is BPA free. So when you're buying your water bottles, please, please, please make sure to read the uh, materials it was made with um, because the whole point of staying hydrated is to stay healthy and we don't want to be drinking chemicals. I forgot one thing. I'll be right back. I totally forgot the stuffing paper. Um, this is always a plus. I don't know if I'm going to need it or use it, but, um, you know, sometimes you kind of need to fluff things up in the basket. So I'm going to just go ahead and put this down here and we'll see if I end up needing it or not. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Let's put this basket together. I'm going to go ahead and try to like speed this up because I know Father's Day is tomorrow and I want to get this video out to you guys as soon as possible. So you can run to the store and make this basket. Now, if you are in the Atlanta, Georgia area, um, you can definitely send me a DM or email and I could make you a customized DIY basket for Father's Day. But you gotta let me know ASAP because you know we're running out of time here. So, and I promise, like my DIY baskets that are coming in the future, I will try to do them at least a week in advance. Um, but you know, your girl, you know, your girl is still, you know, getting through a lot of things. And you know, I told you my health is, you know, not where it needs to be. Um, and then I just moved and just a whole bunch of stuff. So I kind of been behind, but. I'm still making sure that I'm getting these videos out to you guys. So I'm glad that at least, even if I can't make one for you guys this time, you guys can at least follow what I did and kind of make your own. Let's get into it. <laughs> so first, we're going to go ahead. I'm going to just move this to the side so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing here. And pretty much, we're going to... I guess I'll start off with the planner since it's the tallest. So I'm going to put it in the middle. Um... I think next I will put the socks in. Okay. The bottle I feel like should go right here. The wine bottle I'm gonna put back here. Yeah. 
Um, what else? I guess I'll put the soap in the middle. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and put these snacks right here. I try to put the taller items in the back so that way you can see them. Um, no, I don't know if that's gonna work. Maybe I'll put this on the side, yeah. Ooh, there we go. That looks good. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put this, the cashew nuts. I think I'm gonna try to put this somewhere like that. Yeah, like right here. And yeah, you know, and as you can see, like I kind of just figure out the baskets as I go. Um, okay, maybe I should put the candle down here. Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. You won't really see the candle, but it's in there. Yeah, okay, that works. Uh, we do got a lot of stuff in this basket, so. I'm gonna put the lotion right here. And the deodorant, we'll put it right here. Or maybe I'll put, how about this? Oops. That right there. I'm gonna try to move this back a little bit because we want the smaller items. There we go to kind of show a little bit. And I'm gonna move the water bottle to the back also, so that way we can see our Beats headphones. Cause period. And then I'm gonna just put. Hmm. Maybe I'll do. I'm gonna put this. Yeah, like that. Okay, that works. Yep. Because we want, you know, whenever you go to Walmart and you're buying a gift basket, I know you kind of notice how, like, you can pretty much see what's in the basket. So I think that looks good. And see, we we did that ASAP. That didn't take too much time. Um, let me... Ah! It looks so nice! Okay. Final step. The bag. See, okay, I hope I can do the bow. Okay, let's let's go ahead and give it a try. Don't worry, I'm gonna get better with my bow game, but you know, we're gonna figure it out. Okay, this bag thing comes with two bags, which is cool, so I can use this for my next DIY basket. I think we did so good, guys, and we did it quick. So, if you're gonna make um, a basket, it's not going to be that hard for you to put it together. It's not going to take too much time. Oh, gift tags. That's cool. So we're just going to use one. Um, trying to stay clean and organized here. Nah, I don't think I'm going to use the tissue paper for this one. We don't really need it. Um, usually I use the tissue paper if I'm trying to like lift certain items to be seen. Um, but I think we're good. I think I have a better idea of what I might do. So, go ahead and put this in. Ooh, this is kind of heavy now. I think he's gonna love this basket. Oh my gosh. I'm so proud of myself because I chose the right size uh, basket. So one thing I like about this um, wrapping paper is it comes like with this little gum stuff, like gum tap thingies. So I'm gonna just put this like right here, just to make it a little bit more fitted. Oh wow, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'm just literally slim I should say and I'm just using one Let's put it right here it's super sticky since we're on the topic oh nice and I'm gonna do the same thing to this side I'm just gonna put one more So it 
it's said to pull the two strings and it'll automatically turn to a bow. So. Kind of worked. I wonder, oh, I wonder. Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> I think I was supposed to do that. Okay, that works. Yeah, I think that's what you're supposed to do. So yeah, that is a bow. Okay, so. I'm gonna just do that and I'm gonna use the strings to tie it. string too hard. We just found that out. Okay, I think I can still make this work. I pulled the string too hard and I kind of ripped it. But sure it's secure. Oh, the bow is a bow. <laughs> I said the bow is a bow. No, I mean the bow came out nice. Okay, cool. So I guess I was supposed to rip that off. Let me go ahead and write the card. I'm gonna just put this in the little hole. And I'm gonna do the final tie before I um, cut the rest of the thread off. I really like how they, um, I love how Walmart sells these type of bags. I feel like they're so useful when it comes to like things like this. Like this is perfect. The bow came out perfect. Everything. I was going to buy a little card. So this actually was great. And I'm glad I didn't. And voila. The tag is right there. And there you have it. Our DIY Father's Day Basket value packed, okay? This is a very, very value packed gift basket. And yeah, I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, I think I pretty much gave you guys all the information where I got all the items from. Again, if you want me to make you a customized DIY basket, let me know, chow. I'll be home tomorrow. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Oh, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Let me know if you guys like this video. Give me some feedback. I'm your girl E, and I'm signing out. Bye. <laughs>